Hey Cancer and welcome to your reading for today. This is going to be your energy reading. Um, we're going to see what is going on with you at this time. What is it you need to know about? Okay. Now, since it's general, take what resonates with you. Okay. If it's not your reading, maybe check out another placement. Now, well, let's see here. Cancer, what's going on with you today? What does the Holy Spirit need you to know? the divine angels what is going on with cancer today and remember this can be past present or future so let's see what's going on with cancer hmm, interesting the six of pentacles and the eight of pentacles okay so we got a king of wands here Okay, could be an Aries, Sagittarius, or a Leo, okay? Somebody didn't want someone to see something clearly here about some sort of money that they received, okay? All right, so who's the King of Wands, huh? Who is this King of Wands here, Holy Spirit? Who is this King of Wands? And happy Lionsgate, everyone. Happy Lionsgate. So tell me about this King of Wands for Cancer. This person either received a message or sent someone a message having to do with some sort of a house, having to do with some sort of fighting, okay? So this King of Wands Send someone a message claiming that there's some sort of fighting going on in a home or there's some sort of fighting about a home or real estate property or something to do maybe with a community or a union or something like that. Or they're receiving this message. Tell me about the two of swords. The three of cups. The Fool and the Knight of Swords. So this King of Wands didn't want someone to find something out, okay? Or they were trying to obstruct justice, maybe. They were trying to create a stalemate in a situation. Having to do with a group of people, okay? A group, um, some sort of a risk that they took here. Having to do some action that they took or some sort of communication or fast action. So what's the Six of Pentacles? Ah, okay. We got a liar in the house. Oh, and we got the truth coming out too about this person here, this liar here. And ha something to do with the Queen of Cups, okay? So a Queen of Cups gave someone money and now the truth is coming out about this, okay? And so someone decided to lie, okay? So maybe they decided to lie because of a Queen of Cups or there's a Queen of Cups that told this person to lie, okay? Maybe this Queen of Cups told this person that they will give them money if they lie. Okay, so let's see what about this. Tell me more about this King of Wands, please. Why is he here? This person is now under harsh judgment, okay? They're under judgment. Because of an investigator or because someone is looking into something or because they try to keep something hidden or what's the hermit? They tried to keep something hidden about a queen of wands. Okay. So this king of wands is now under harsh judgment because they tried to keep something under wraps having to do with a queen of wands. Or tell me about this hermit. Why is this hermit here? Occupation in reverse. Something doesn't have something to do with someone's job. Or occupation in reverse in a family room. They did something in secret or wanted to keep something hidden that something is not their job or because they did something shady with their job. 
What's judgment reverse? A mature man. Thoughts. Someone is thinking about harsh judgment. Who is this? Um, King of Wands here. This is someone that took some sort of action and now it's blowing up in their face. Okay, so there's like an extreme tower coming in for this King of Wands, okay? Like extreme, it's like coming in super quick. Look at this, Eight of Wands and the tower is like, boom! It like just, like the grenade is like in front of your feet and it's like too late, okay? Something like that. And this person is now thinking about the fact that they are under judgment. What is occupation in reverse though? This has something to do with a large amount of money or an inheritance or um, a large bank account, um, a big sum of money, a big payout, winning the lottery. They didn't want someone to know that something is not their job or something is not an occupation having to do with this money. Something is not an occupation. Something is not an occupation. What does that mean here? This is an epiphany here. The Hank man. This doesn't have anything to do with someone's job. This is not about a job. This is not about an occupation. Whatever this money is, it's not about a job. What does that mean? What does that mean though? It's about an offer that was made to someone. It's about an offer that was made to someone. Hmm. Okay. So tell me about this page of wands. It's a message about an investment, a money investment, financial news receiving some sort of money, maybe even a bribe. Money, a, um, a message about financial news. And this was to cause someone harm. Or this has something to do with hurting someone or heartbreak and pain. A message. What's this page of wands? A wealthy man. Someone received a message from a wealthy man and this was some sort of a bribe here with this to put someone in bad health in a house. So someone received a message from a wealthy man and I feel like it's a bribe to cause pain. Who's this king of wands? A child. A child? So I don't know, maybe this is, maybe you're this person's child or this is a child or it has something to do with a child. It has something to do with a child, okay? The King of Wands and a child. King of Wands and a child. A King of Wands and a child. So are you this person's child or why child? Has something to do with someone walking away from a family situation. Somebody that walked away from a family. So there's a tower coming in because of a child. Because of because somebody walked away from a family. They're under harsh judgment. They're thinking about this because they tried to do something in secret with a Queen of Wands. And it has something to do with money, but something was not a job. Something doesn't have to do with a job or an occupation. Okay. It's a child. Page of Cups. It's definitely... Okay, so it's a child. The Emperor and a child. Maybe even the father of a child. Something to do with the fa the father of a child, or some sort of news that they brought an emperor. 
There's a tower coming in because of a child. Something they said about a child maybe with the Page of Cups. Something they told an emperor about a child. And this is backfiring on them horribly because they're about to have destruction and it's coming in really quick. This tower is coming in really quick. So what did they, what did they say to this emperor here? What's the Page of Cups? Poverty. They said something about someone being left out and someone being in poverty. They told the emperor something about being in poverty. And going on a journey. Some sort of a message about going on a journey and someone being in poverty or someone feeling left out of something. Hold on, I'm, I'm missing a piece up here. Help me understand this a little bit more, what's going on here. The emperor, well, okay, the emperor knows. The emperor knows, okay, apparently. So, about a star. An emperor, Aries and Aquarius. And about a risk that someone took. A risk that someone took, some something that somebody jumped into here, having to do with some sort of messages. It's um, yeah, it's messages. It's some sort of communication that came in, and some sort of lies that was brought in towards an emperor about an Aquarius, maybe, or about a star that somebody was not working together with someone, or why someone doesn't want to work together with someone, or why there's no solutions, or why someone is not part of the group. And what does that have to do with a child? Whatever it was, it was an illusion, okay? Magician in reverse, this was an illusion. So they created an illusion here, okay? Some sort of a message about... What's this the Page of Pentacles on the Three of Swords? Temperance. It's... Okay, so whoever this message is for knows exactly what this is, Okay. What's the three of swords? Girl talk, time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. A message about someone feeling heartbroken, that someone is having time with friends. Someone is living in the moment and having fun. Someone is heartbroken that someone is having fun and living in the moment. Okay. Yeah, this was their hand of cards saying something about a separation. So they took a risk on a, some sort of a separation or some sort of sadness and being unsure of the future. And they tried to use this very strategically that someone was unsure of the future. And this has something to do with a child or with children, okay? So, okay, what's the four of wands? And someone here wanted to defend themselves from some sort of a love offer or a love gesture or that somebody came towards someone in a loving way. They had to stand up to this. They had to defend themselves. They felt like they had to stop this or they, or this is about someone defend. Okay, so this is a, hold on. I gotta figure this one out. What's the seven of wands? I gotta figure out what spirit is trying to tell me with this, okay? This is about a sudden change, shocking news, a surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. About, what's the four of wands? Courthouse. Courthouse? A courtship. This has something to do with a message that was sent about someone being heartbroken, about somebody, somebody's living situation or something to do with a relationship and a home or somebody building a home together or living with someone or moving in with someone or a relationship evolving to the next phase. 
but there was a sudden change and there has been some sort of shocking news here about somebody defending themselves. Okay. What's the seven, uh, what's the Knight of Cups? Photographs, using some sort of screenshots here or some sort of photos saying that somebody came towards someone in love um, or someone was making someone a romantic offer or romantic gesture to move in together maybe. But something has now suddenly changed. There's shocking news because somebody has defended themselves. So who's defended themselves, huh? The Empress. Wheel of Fortune. The Empress has defended herself, okay? The true Empress has defended herself against some sort of photographs and love messages. And this is some sort of shocking news about a relationship and some sort of uh, some sort of messages about someone being heartbroken, about someone moving on, and something to do with children and the Queen of Wands. Okay, so what's this fighting about? Five of Wands, the Eight of Wands. It's some sort of communication or action that was taken to defend something, to stop something, to defend something, so that they could have victory and success. They had to create some sort of conflict or drama or fighting in order to stop something so that they could have victory and success because something was shocking news that someone was pregnant. That someone was pregnant. That was shocking news to these people because they were doing something in secret with the Queen of Wands. Oh, I get it now. Okay, that's why this was a tower because they were planning something. This King of Wands and their family or this Queen of Wands, they were planning something in secret here. They were planning something in secret and then they received shocking news that you might be pregnant, okay? Then they had to stop this and defend this or uh, flip this because they, and then they use this, and then they use these messages of you being pregnant to create some sort of a narrative about somebody coming towards the Queen of Wands, claiming that the Queen of Wands is pregnant, but she wasn't the one that was pregnant. They lied, but it was shocking to them. There was It was shocking news to them that you were pregnant. And it was fucking up their plan, right? So they had to stop it. They had to stop this, like, in its tracks. They had to create some sort of... Um, they had to stop this... They had to create an illusion. They had to, um, you know, send it back. They had to fight this off. Something to do with a pregnancy, maybe. Okay. So, what's this two of swords? Yeah, this group of people did not want anybody to find out about this. Yeah, because it was probably, because they had probably told people that you are broken up. And then all of a sudden you're pregnant. It's like, no, you know what I mean? Like, uh, it, it was um, messing with their narrative, okay? It fucked up their narrative here that they had when somebody found out you were pregnant. So then they just lied about the pregnancy and claimed that the Queen of Wands was the one that was pregnant, right? Yeah, in order to get out of something, to get away with something here, they had to find a solution to block this. And win at all costs. And win at all costs. Because um, if they're telling people that uh, you are broken up and someone doesn't want to be with you and someone doesn't love you, um, you know, you being pregnant all of a sudden is, I don't know. I feel like that's what this is about. Is that what this is about? Death in reverse. They didn't want something to change. They were trying to avoid something changing. They didn't want to deal with an ending. So they had to find a way to move forward. They had to find a way to move forward or something was an ending for you. Something didn't end for you. They were trying to end your relationship. They were trying to break up your relationship, but something didn't end for you. In complete opposite, you actually might have gotten pregnant. And this was shocking to them. This was shocking to them. And it has something to do with this Ten of Pentacles and this King of Pentacles. 
just a money here or an inheritance or a family legacy or a family, some sort of money that they received maybe or an inheritance, judgment in reverse. They judged you. They judged you. These people judged you harshly, okay? Um, maybe especially if this is like the family of uh, the person that got you pregnant, right? These people did not want you to be pregnant, okay? They did not want you to have a child. They didn't want you to be a part of this family. They didn't want you to have any kind of family legacy. Um, they, it, It's like their worst nightmare that you get pregnant from this person, right? They don't want you to be a part of this family. So they, so they said something about someone juggling, someone having two people at the same time. This is what they told the justice system. What? What did they tell the justice system? This was part of their strategy or this is what they told a lawyer. Maybe this is what they told a lawyer here. Nine of Pentacles and the justice could be a lawyer. Having to do with some sort of money power this has to do with money or a gift maybe even i mean maybe it's a gift i don't know so what's this three of pentacles um three of cups so the, again didn't that come out didn't this same thing come out in my last reading? A group of people, which this can also be about celebration and party, right? When you're having fun with your friends um, in celebration. And the Nine of Cups is like overindulgence. That just came out in Pisces too, these two together. Three of Cups and the Nine of Cups. There's something about overindulgence or having fun at a party or some sort of celebration where... People might be even drinking a lot, like, and this is a secret. This is something to do with a secret. Why does this keep coming out here? Three of Cups and the Nine of Cups. What does that even mean? It has something to do with someone having a one-night stand. A marriage a one-night stand and a marriage a one-night stand and a marriage what is the um hierophant a divorce yeah it's not a real marriage though okay look at that it even comes out in reverse so this has to do with a divorce or a divorce couple or this is not a real marriage. It, they're saying it's about a marriage, but it's not really about a real marriage, okay? Because none of their storylines are real anyways, but... So it has something to do with a divorce or a fake married couple. Saying something about a party? And someone having a one-night stand at a party? This mature woman in reverse. Uh-huh, okay. Tell me more about this here, this one night stand at a party. Something to do with money, stability, security, permanence, growth. For money? What? What do you mean? What is this, um, this party thing here? Having a one-night stand at a party or when you're drunk maybe that's what they said something with the king of pentacles this is a choice they made to hold on to some sort of security or they move forward with, the, with this to hold on to some sort of control so they said something about someone having a one-night stand at a party okay yeah a lovers a lovers and the devil someone had a lover yeah that's the truth this is the truth about lovers and some sort of lust, maybe. This could even be lust, okay? Lovers and the devil could be lust. Um, or someone having a lover or 
someone doing something toxic or having some sort of this could even be like a sexually transmitted demon if i'm being honest here the devil and the lovers okay so they said something about someone having a one-night stand when they were drunk at a party okay the queen of wands and the king of swords did so the fake married couple the fake married couple claimed that someone had a one-night stand when they were drunk at a party. Okay. And got an SCD. Okay. And, okay. And then they took a risk on this communication. Saying that someone had an affair. And now they're trapped. Okay. Because they're trying to hold on to control. Why are they saying this? Why is this Queen of Wands saying that someone had a one-night stand and got drunk at a party? They said something about someone being drunk. Yeah, Nine of Cups. That something happened when someone was drunk or something like that. So that they could get away with something here. The sun. They said this so that they could get away with something. Okay. Well, why are they trapped now? Because they're sad and upset. And this was part of their strategy. And this has something to do with someone's work or what someone has been working on, or they've been trying to perfect this, or what's the Eight of, Cups, uh, Eight of Swords? Wedding rings, it's about a marriage. Okay, so now the fake married couple feels trapped by some sort of communication that they made. What's the Five of Cups? Yeah, heartbroken, that is the Five of Cups. That's literally the Five of Cups, okay? Claiming someone is heartbroken, deeply sad, hurt, grieving, that is the same thing as that card. What's the Eight of Pentacles? There's no time. Something has been expired. Something has not been going on for a long time. Time's up. Something is not progressing. Something already ran out of time. Something has not been going on for this long. They weren't working on something this whole time. So this fake married couple was claiming to people that they were working on their marriage maybe, but they were not. They were not working on their marriage this entire time. This entire time they were not. But they were saying something about someone being deeply hurt and sad over a separation. Now this married couple, this fake married couple feels trapped, okay? Because they told a lawyer maybe that they had been working on their marriage. Okay, so the fake married couple told the lawyer that they're working on their marriage. Or it's a therapist. Did they tell it there? Wait a minute. No way. About some sort of happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. Did they go to like fake couples therapy together? I mean, this Knight of Pentacles, it could be anyone. It could be, it's someone that's studious, right? It could be a, maybe it's a couples therapist or it's a lawyer or counselor or something like that. They told a person like this that they're working on their marriage. Or who is this Knight of Pentacles? This has something to do, so this is somebody's job, okay? This Knight of Pentacles, this is a career that this person has changed to change something in a family room or to help a family change something. I don't know. So I don't know who this is, okay? Maybe it's a doctor. Maybe it's a, well, it's not going to be a doctor because they're lying about everything, but could be a, a therapist maybe or a... A lawyer 
I don't know, something like that maybe. I feel like it's a person that they told all this like quack quack to, okay? So what's the truth here? Or what's the Six of Pentacles? I, I was feeling it before it came out. I wasn't gonna say anything until I, until I saw the card literally come out, okay? Bad health. It's about an STD, man. Yo, main male in reverse. Somebody lied about somebody giving someone bad health. So it's an STD that they faked here and something to do with a one night stand at a party or something like that, okay? Yeah, they claimed someone gave them an SCD or something like that. Lovers and the devil? I would say so. And it's a main male in reverse that claimed something about someone giving something to them, okay? Claiming that someone was just drunk or something like that. Okay, so what's this truth here? Ace of Swords. A mature man now knows the truth though, okay? There's a mature man that sees the truth here. Sees the truth about what? About someone feeling rejected and feeling like they missed an opportunity and someone feeling dissatisfied about something. So they, and the choices that someone made, okay? So an, a mature man is seeing the truth about the choices that someone made because they felt rejected. And, that, and now they're under judgment and there's a tower. So everything is blowing up in their face right now here. It could even be because of the justice system, okay? So this emperor could be someone that works in the justice system who is actually seeing through the bullshit and he's seeing things clearly now, okay? And he's uh, maybe even realizing what these people have done, how far they went. So why is the Queen of Cups here? This is... Queen of Cups, Page of Cups, could have something to do with a child, okay? And some sort of communication that was brought in either about a child or brought to the Hierophant. Maybe it's an institution or maybe something about a marriage, okay? Tower. Yikes, okay? So something is blowing up right now. Something is blowing up right now about... Something that someone communicated here. What's the Knight of Swords? Love. Because of the communication that was brought in about love. Claiming something about unconditional love or affection and attraction. and transcending an obstacle and preparing for union. And honestly, with the Page of Cups, and I'm getting a pain in my ear right now. So the truth, what I wanna say, the Queen of Cups and the Page of Cups is like the truth about who was actually pregnant, okay? Who was actually pregnant and how they lied and claimed that somebody gave someone bad health or somebody gave someone an SED or something happened when someone was drunk at a party or something like that. The truth is coming out about this. Yeah, about these self-absorbed narcissists. This is a whole group of narcissists who came in and communicated something about love. So yeah, tell me more about what they lied about here, Seven of Swords, huh? About there was no one night stand. There was no one night stand with someone. They're lying. They're lying. Someone did not have a one night stand with someone. Someone did not get some sort of an SCD from someone because somebody did not have a one-night stand with someone. Oh, wait a minute. So did this happen first? This might have happened first. That's why they had to lie about the pregnancy. They might have, oh, is that what happened? So first they lied and claimed that someone gave someone some sort of a STD, which never happened because someone didn't have a one night stand with someone. And then all of a sudden they're reading messages and finding out that you're pregnant. 
And it's like, oh my God, fuck, this can't be happening because how are we gonna explain that this person is now pregnant when, or that this person got pregnant when we've been saying the whole time that they that you have like you have an std or something like that so why would anybody be sleeping with you right like why would anybody sleep with you because they're telling people you have an std and all of a sudden you end up pregnant it's like wait a minute we told people they're not sleeping together how's that gonna look so then they decided to use your pregnancy and pretend it was with the queen of wands yo <sighs> okay now i get it because it destroyed their entire narrative that they were trying to um, come up with here. And so why is the King of Wands here then? Why is the King of Wands here saying something about a child, huh? For money. They did it for money. Or this person offered these people money. Maybe they this King of Wands offered this family money to... That's when they that's when this king of wands offered the money. Oh, that's what you're telling me. That's when he offered the money. That is when he approached this family and offered them this money. Was when this thing with the pregnancy happened. So this is about timeline. So first the angle they were going at was that you gave someone an STD. And that didn't have anything to do with this family, this other family. That was the first angle they were trying to go at, apparently, was that you you gave someone an STD or something like that. They, they didn't need this other family because they were trying to frame you as someone who has lovers and STDs, apparently. So, but then you they found out you were pregnant. And that created a shit storm for them because it was a sudden change and then they needed to get out of that. So that's when the King of Wands approached this family and asked them for help. Is this, the, is this about the timeline? It's about, yeah, it's about this relationship and someone coming towards someone in love. That's when this relationship thing started then. They needed help. They needed help from this family breaking up the relationship. That's when the King of Wands contracted the family was when you ended up being pregnant by this person because you couldn't be with this person for their plan to work. So they contracted the family, probably of your significant other, your partner, to help in destroying your relationship because their plan wouldn't work if you were together with your person. That's when they contracted this family was when you ended up being pregnant. That was a shock for them. They had to avoid this from happening. And that's when they contracted the King of Swords. Okay. That's when they contracted this person to pretend to be your significant other as a doppelganger or copycat. It was probably right after you ended up being pregnant. That's when they got this family involved. Justice. That's when they asked, that's, that's when they helped, um, that's when they asked this uh, family to help in this plan, in this investment. So if that happened first, if they had claimed first that you, that you received some sort of SCD from someone that you didn't receive an SCD from because you didn't sleep with this person, See, they probably contracted this family with a lot of gossip and slander, like a lot, a lot, okay? To help in this plan, to help in destroying this relationship. Because this King of Wands needed this relationship to be destroyed in order for their plan to work. Yeah, it wouldn't have worked. Three of Wands in reverse. It would not have worked if you are together with your person. That's why they needed this family on board. Yeah, they needed the family on board and that's why they came to them with an offer and said, we'll offer you money. We need you on board because this this plan won't work if um, 
the family, this family needs to be involved because this relationship cannot, you cannot, you cannot be together with your person if the King of Wands plan is supposed to go uh, work here. Yeah, they needed help creating an illusion here, Five of Swords and the Magician. Or they went to this family and this King of Wands went to this family and created an illusion to them in order to get them on board. This person probably manipulated the family as well, said really horrible things about you, said really bad things about you with the Five of Swords to get them to help. And it must have happened right after you uh, you um, ended up pregnant here. Yeah, because they, um, they needed to stop this. They needed to stop it immediately. They needed to stop you immediately, especially if you have, um, if, if you were pregnant, right? Yeah, they needed to lie. They needed to get out of it. They needed to find a way to lie here. And then they lied about the money that they received. And then, oh, and that's when this started the lie about the, that's when the lie about the money started, the bribe, right? Because, so, oh, that's when the lie about the bribe started, right? So this is about timeline. So this is about, okay, so first they accuse you of having an STD, and then you get pregnant. Then the King of Wands goes, fuck, that's not part of the plan. This person's not supposed to get pregnant. Okay, we need to pull in the family of the partner because now we need to, create an even bigger illusion and we need their help because we need to destroy this relationship or else our plan's not going to work so then they hired them and that is when they also came up with the lie about what that money is for yeah okay okay i'm getting it now all right anything last words here and then i'm going to close it out Nine of Wands in reverse. They're not going to be able to defend themselves here. Yeah, time is up. Wheel of Fortune, time's up now. About some sort of feeling rejected about something. Or they, they're missing an opportunity. They're not going to get another opportunity here because of justice. Because justice is about to be served here. You're about to receive justice for this here. And it has to do with the King of Wands. Why? Why does it have to do with the King of Wands? Because this person is sad and crying with a Queen of Pentacles, okay? So a King of Wands and a Queen of Pentacles are crying right now, okay, about their failed plan. Chariot, okay, something about moving forward, okay? Or maybe it's the police coming in really quick. Chariot can be the police. Having to do with some sort of messages or communication or some sort of messages about someone moving on, okay? Or someone spying and watching and hacking online, World Wide Web. Somebody spying on you on the on the World Wide Web, okay? Something like that. Or someone's watching you online. Maybe they're watching you online. That's why they know it's over here. Yeah, because they create a bunch of illusions about um, a lover situation or relationships or you having a lover. Yeah, it was an illusion. It was a it was a fucking illusion, okay? And they're watching you online. And then they created an illusion about a king of swords being in a relationship with someone that they're not in a relationship with. Yeah, and they offered this person money to help with this plan. And it happened right after uh, you were pregnant. Bad memories of the past. These people refuse to grow up. They're bullies. And this has to do with somebody in a bed, sleeping or resting in a bed, okay? the King of Cups and what they had been invested in. Wait a minute, you're meaning to tell me they, this King of Wands showed this family this fake video with a fake copycat in order to get them to help them? So the King of Wands showed them a fake video with a fake copycat with a king of cups this is what they gave the family everything that they had already put work into with the lies and the slander what the king of wands was trying to do behind your back with this king of cups so it started with them it started with the king of cups the king of wands and the queen of pentacles and what they had been putting their work into and investing into right these fake videos and whatever the copycat videos 
And this is what they showed the family. The Empress. And something about a King of Pentacles and a star. Or a King of Pentacles, maybe this is an Aquarius, okay? King of Pentacles, or has something to do with this person. Or them, that's why they acted on this person's behalf. Or this is why they, this is why the mother did what she did. This is why this person's mother did this. This is why the, oh, this is why this person's mother took the bribe to harm you. Because this King of Wands must have showed this this family all this fake evidence. All this fake copycat bullshit. Told all these lies about you. Queen of Swords. And it, yeah, and said something about you having, you being a witch maybe, or you being evil, or possessed by the devil, or... Um, or this is the copycat, right? Maybe this is the copycat. Okay. And now they can't get out of it. Six of swords in reverse, and now they're paranoid. And now they can't get out of it. They're stressed out. They're paranoid. Because they fell for a trick. These people don't even know you. This family... This person's family doesn't even know you. They've never met you. They never wanted to meet you. They don't want anything to do with you yet they believed lies like this they don't even know someone okay never even met someone like what the fuck yeah said something about death and they asked these people to help them in secret get rid of you Okay, so if this resonates, yeah, the, the mother, someone's mother. That's why, that's why this mother figure here um, that they hired to um, do something to you, okay? That's why she said yes. That's why she said yes to doing something to you, to getting you out of the way, maybe even killing you, okay? That's why she said yes, because this King of Wands had showed this person, apparently, um, a bunch of fake videos and fake evidence and fake whatever bullshit um, that they had already came up with. They just slandered you and lied about you. And then the family was like, oh yeah, we'll help you. Okay. So if that resonates then watch my collective reading. Okay. Cause I feel like this ties in. All right. So I'm going to leave it at that guys. Thanks for watching until next time. Bye.